keep some around here because nobody's cleaned them up. Right. So he wouldn't. He might get upset if you cleaned it up too. Yeah, if it's if you clean it up too too early, there's a time and a place for everything as far as he's concerned. You know, like most artists, he's quite temperamental. Fly into a rage, even on occasion. You move that bowling ball to a different part of the yard, for example. That bowling ball? Some little girls came out here and were playing with him, the neighbor's daughters, and they moved the bowling ball, and he didn't deal with it very well. Well, he is a genius. Oh my God, I think I found one. There's some. There's some examples of his. You notice the placement with the, with the, uh, with the, with the uh, bushes. And I the, do. That's um, extraordinary. There's a juxtapositioning there of the. You know, I think that shows some sort of a progression of mankind's journey. I think so too. Uh, from the from the wilderness into nirvana. Wow. Um, I mean, it's just this really is, this stunning. Is, I know this is one of the areas he's really been doing a lot of work lately. Is right around here. I think he really likes the the foliage um, aspect. He also he might if he's got some work that's not finished, he might hide it under some of this. Uh, plastic that's torn up here and oh my god plastic um, and I think organic he, matter he really likes the you know how to how it ages and uh, they're not life but they're poop that's it's it's technically dead organic I mean, matter that's dead like how can you really differentiate between life and poop like in the end yeah yeah isn't it all the same that's exactly and the fact that you would come out here and see his work and say something like that just shows the power the inspiration that he um that he is capable of of giving to people do you um, think that we might have a chance to meet him later today uh we might he's he's in seclusion at the moment i believe but um um one of his handlers is, is dealing with him, and I believe she said that we might get him out. The way those nails rust and, the, and runs down the fence, I believe that that may have something to do with him choosing this area to work in also. Um, it's very rusty. an atmosphere that's provided by that. Mm -hmm. um, and the bowling ball. Uh, yeah, I think, I think the dissension of, uh, you know, how moisture has moved along the walls the boards of the fence and you know those nails are crying out uh, they're weeping an atmosphere that that I think uh, Clarence really finds inspirational really beautiful really amazing work yeah and it's what like, a it's like what a, a treat they're like snowflakes you know everyone is different and then there's a whole nother side of things when he gets out here in this gravel part um, Somewhere, oh yeah, there's a basketball over there. He hates that basketball. He hates the basketball. If you, if you try to kick the basketball around, he really, really reacts to that. Um, I don't. I, I think it's probably a, the kind of inspiration that many artists just get from abject rage. Yes. But, um, Directionless rage. Yeah, yeah. It focuses his rage on the basketball. And I think that in his inner workings, it probably has some effect. For a year, a year and a half, he only did his work along that fence line, right over there. Right he over would, there? He would go within a foot of that fence and work on the gravel. Is that when he was depressed? I think it might have been in a down period for him, yeah. yeah. Um, because he, he didn't talk about it much. But um, Gravel is so unforgiving. Yes, it is. I mean, it's a whole... If you consider the... The contours of the surface that he's working with, um, and the intimacy that exists between the output of his work and his environment, it's got to be a totally different emotional experience for him to work with gravel than with his regular uh, dirt or bark. Would you mind showing us some of your work? Would you mind showing us some of your work? Please? Oh my God, he's touching me. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's so nice to meet you. Yes, that's very, that's very generous of you, Clarence. Do you need anything? Do you need a, do you need an espresso or anything? Or are you okay? Do you need a cappuccino, sir? I'll make one for you. That was, that was short but Oh sweet. my goodness. Yeah, Clarence, what about? What brilliance. What about, uh, <gasps> what about this one? <gasps> come back, come back. I'm sorry, did I offend you? Come back. Yeah, yeah, get that stuff. Get it. Get it. Go. This is what his process looks like. Oh yeah, do it now. Yeah, he's inspired. Yeah, dig it up. Get it. Get right in there.
it's awe-inspiring to be in the presence of such genius.